So this is a bit different from our usual videos. This is a bit more DIY. I have limited experience using structural framing, but I needed a new workbench, so I'm sharing my build and what I learned. Everything I used, well except for the wood, are Shoreframe and Fath products from Automation Direct. This shows the full design, but for this video I'm just building the workbench. I'll post other videos adding the upper shelf and other modifications. Before we get into the build, let's take a look at the various nuts I used and what's available. These are called double economy nuts and are one of the least expensive options. The issue with these, as you can see, is they slide freely. Also, if you can tell in this video, they lean in the slot, which can be an issue getting the screw started. There are some ways I managed to overcome that and I'll show in a minute. This is the same type, it's a single economy nut. And again, it can lean in the slot and slides easily. You'll see me struggling with this in the video until I realize there's a very easy solution. Pre-assembling the components. This made working with economy nuts the simplest option so far. This is a roll-in nut with leaf spring. I tend to call them spring nuts, maybe because of my past experience with strut builds. Basically, they insert spring side first, and then press the top side in, and you just have to rotate it into place. You can either use your fingers or something like a hex wrench to get those set in place. They won't slide when you move the rail around, but they can be moved for alignment. I'll show more detail on how I use the different nuts throughout this video. There are several other types available, and I'll order some of these to use in a future video. But the specs have this handy reference of the various styles. I decided to build this upper frame first, thinking having it supported on my workspace would help with attaching the legs. I'm inserting the nuts roughly in place, and for this I'm using roll-in spring nuts. The corners are joined using these inside gusseted corners. By setting the inside corners in place, I'm using them to roughly line up the nuts. I had to wiggle things around a bit to get them to line up. That was one of the things I struggled with at first, was getting the brackets and the nuts behind them lined up. One of the things that I found out was pretty easy, when these nuts were near the end, was to slip one end in, rotate, then squeeze the spring on the other end and slide it into place. I'll now move on to the front rail and assemble in the same fashion. Here I'm getting the roll-in nut aligned with my Allen wrench. Throughout this video I cut a lot of repetition and sped it up. This video would get really boring if you're going to sit here and watch me do the whole thing. I'll note that while building this I felt like I was doing this the hard way. So once completed I reevaluated and discovered a much easier solution and it would have saved some money as well. So at the end I'll show you the easy way. Then I moved on to the other end of the unit, which I won't bother showing because well, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much the same. On to adding the legs. But first I wanted to point out the labeling. Each piece has a label with a part number, length, and angle of cuts. And these stickers never came off while handling, but they peel off super easy without leaving any part of the label or adhesive on the parts. I didn't do it with my order, but you can also add a name to each part for easier identification. The legs are secured using gusseted brackets and flat plates. Let's set the inside corner, then the leg. I'm using the economy slide nuts here, and you can see where I have to finagle it a bit to get the screw started due to the lean. On the legs here, I'm using a spring nut to keep the double economy nut from sliding. And then I can take the roll-in nut out. 
This works pretty well to keep the economy nuts from sliding. And let's move on to the front leg to show the flat plate install. I'm using economy nuts and roll-in spring nuts here. I think it might have been easier to build out the legs and then install the long top members. You'll also notice the legs are a bit high, so let's adjust them. Turns out they are high by about the width of the shore frame piece, so I'm using that as a shim. So far I've only stuck the connection slightly. With the frame lifted, I can square everything up and really tighten things in place. The components are quite square from the factory. But there's a little play in the screw holes, so it pays to ensure everything is square. So let's get the lower frame in place. I built up the lower frame like the upper, but then pulled the screws into the end piece free, so I have the inside corner brackets and nuts all in place. Since I want to fit these storage totes under the shelf, I'm using the tote and a couple of pieces of shore frame to prop up the end pieces to attach them to the legs. This will give me clearance for the totes, but I don't expect it to be very accurate. I really should have attached these inside corner brackets when I pre-built the frame. I've done the same thing on the other end off camera. Now let's measure and square up these end pieces. Now I'll set the lower frame back piece, then the front piece. You'll notice I attached the slide nut to the flat plate and moved the front rail out to slide it in from the end. As previously mentioned, I found pre-attaching the slide nuts to be the easiest way to work with them. I've used a number of these simple corner brackets to support and attach the lower shelf and the top. I'm using 3 quarter inch MDF for the surfaces but it could be just about any material. And here's the finished workbench. So now to my planning failure. The whole thing could have been done with economy slide nuts and been much simpler. I'm not going to completely rebuild this, but I'll explain using some images. First we'll do some pre-assemblies to make the final assembly faster and more efficient. Basically attach all the nuts to the brackets and flat plates. Install the screws and economy nuts into the double corner brackets. And do the same for the other corner brackets. And here we're pre-installing on the flat plates. And the simple inside corner brackets. Then assemble the four long framing members. And assemble the four short framing members. So now we'll assemble the whole thing upside down. Attach the first frame to the tabletop. Then just stack the second frame on the first. And insert the legs and tighten the bottom frame to the legs. Slide the lower shelf frame up to the desired spacing and tighten onto the legs. Then install feet. 
and flip the table over and attach the lower shelf. Click here to find structural frame and components for your applications. And click here for more Sure Frame and Fath videos. And click here to subscribe to be notified of new videos.